Do you know that I, Prince, known to be the smartest man in the world, can be wrong? I know what you are thinking. That's a lie. That's a huge lie. That's a huge lie that you are lying. But yes, I was wrong. I read a book by its cover wrongly. Is that even English? <laughs> <laughs> when I first saw the cover art of 30 and Single, I had mixed emotions. At first, I saw her and I thought to myself, this is a nice body of work. Ah! <laughs> you guys thought I was saying something stupid. 30 and Single is a movie that follows an independent woman named Ada that just turned 30. Oh, oh. She's a stereotype workaholic. Oh, oh. And when I say stereotypical, I mean she also wants to work on her off days. Oh. That is even weird. That's weird. What? The thing with this movie is they really push down the narrative of her being single so far down her throat that you are just standing there like, Brack, come on. She's single. We know. She no keep her sin. Her best friend is in a relationship. She is married. She is married. She is dating. She is dating. She is dating. She is dating. He is dating. He is dating. Who is this one? <laughs> and that's not all. Her mom is also on her neck to get married. Yes. Women are not allowed to greet. We get it already. On a faithful day, she stumbles upon a post. <laughs> That's a weird way to say she stumbled upon a post. Stumbled upon Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> and this post triggered her and the post was just saying, if you're 30 and not married, you have expired. Uh, uh. <laughs> but this post had like a negative impact in her life because she was so bothered that she started reminiscing on her ex, who apparently is this guy named Josh. And she was curious on whatever happened to them and why they broke up. And after doing her research, she found out that he's engaged and now lives in the UK. So what do you think a supposed desperate 30 year old would do when she hears the love of her life is now in the UK and engage? I will stop you there. She travels to the UK. Logical. <laughs> and I believe this is the point the movie changed and became a part two to another movie. It's like someone put an ad disc and ran away. <laughs> the second part had sex trafficking, hacking, lots of drugs, stalking and juice. Yes, Jews had nothing to do there, but I just wanted to just add it to it to be funny. So trust me when I say this, this movie did not have any predictable ending in any way. Believe me. Why traveling thousands of miles just to come see the affection of some guy who traveled thousands of miles just to stay away from you? And he's even engaged to marry some other girl. You see, the main character Ada is a funny human being and definitely not a saint in any way. Even though most of the characters in the show are trying to bring her down. She's harsh, she's somewhat mean, she gets envious, she's picky. And the worst part about her is she's rude. <laughs> that is one cute and so kind. No. That one that looks like a bouncer. I can't place it, but there's this scary thing about her where she doesn't have the traits of a main character, rather she acts like the villain, and you find yourself rooting for the side characters a lot. Speaking of side characters, one of the cons of this show was how bad some of the side characters were. Take for instance, on her birthday party, she had this very weird scene that is cringy to watch, so let's watch it together. So are you guys ready for truth or dinner? Okay. okay. You know, my boobs are heavy and my son needs his sock now. Wow, this is too much information there. What? Like you don't suck boobs? Did that cringe you? Because I, I, I'm scared of this guy. And the song in some places felt off, especially every drone shot in the UK had this sound. Every drone shot. I'm not making it up. I don't even know if they will come strike me for this. So what are the pros? The friendship between Ada and her friend is something I admire. They fight like they hate each other and the next moment they reconcile and they wear cute robes. <laughs> I think that's toxic. The sound was actually good. Trust me, I'm tired of always shouting, Eh? What did I say? In every movie. So it's good to hear good audio. One thing I like or I want more movies to do is to normalize women of any age living their best life. It's because, wait for it, if a man can be pretty for marrying at any age, a woman should also be. So even though people still have this archaic view of women expiring, I feel it is bad. But one thing I know that can't expire is your Airtel TV subscription because it's free. <laughs> I love how I spend that thing. Guys, I have said this before and I will say it again. Download the app using the link and stand a chance to win 50,000 naira, a smartphone, and they would give you 1.5 gigabyte monthly for free <laughs> so what are you waiting for use the link in the description and also the first comment to download the app and watch movies for free and by doing that you are supporting me immensely thank you Ethel, for sponsoring this hungry youtuber again and yeah who will do truth or dare with this guy <laughs>